young people don't get themselves in this situation, young people don't ask to be abused, young people don't ask to become homeless. <laughs> So I had no money, so I had to drop out of college as well at that time. Everybody's homeless. We should all be a priority. What can we all as politicians do to try and prevent young people from becoming homeless in the first place? Then it is about looking at solutions that are more complicated, more difficult to deliver and will take longer to actually produce the results. I think it's sad in a society like we live in that people is down to food parcels. Right, there's only one way you've got to cope with, there's no other option but to cope. But it has been, it still is really hard. Sometimes you have to go without electricity. But you just got to do it. That was freezing. We were, there was ice actually. When you go in there, there was ice hanging from the ceiling. That's how, it, I mean, we had, we did have a black, we did have a cover, but you can't take that around with you. <clears throat> but somebody stole it. We had loads of, we had clothes that all got stolen. I mean, that's all we had was our jackets in the winter. And if we'd been out longer, like in the snow, we would have froze to death. So the support they give you in hostels is really good. My life's went up and down, so I want it just to be said. Just go out there and just meet people that I don't have to tell them anything, just, they just know me for me, instead of knowing this whole big thing about people in mass and everything like that, I just want people to know me. <laughs>